Hey everyone, it's Felice Clark, the Dabbling Speechy, and a lot of you have been asking me to do an Ed Puzzle tutorial, so here I am, and I'm ready to do one for you. I am still learning about the tool. It's somewhat user-friendly. I think there's still some pieces that I'm gonna learn. It's like learning as you do. Um, I had heard about this tool from Hallie Sherman, who runs Speech Time Fine, a Speech Time Fine, Speech Speech Time Fun a couple of years ago, and I was using it with my fourth, fifth, and sixth graders. This web-based application tool is free. It links up to Google Classroom. And at the time when I was using it, I was not assigning videos to students. I was just watching them because I didn't have kids that had, you know, Google Classroom accounts with where I had a Chromebook in my speech room. So it's definitely geared towards teachers, but we totally can make it work in everyday regular therapy because I did use it before. Um, but now it's even more friendly because we have to put everything and assign it on Google Classroom. So it's really nice. So I'm going to show you some of the features. So this is where you can find content and they're going to give you some things that are trending in special ed right now. And then you can, you know, you can look for it. You can also, it says trending in California, trending in the United States. So these are videos that people are using or finding. You can find videos all along here. You can even, I believe you can you can look for it that you like what something you want. So Simon's cat spring. So you can find different videos that you might want to use. Um, this one looks cute. We're going to copy it or you can click edit if you want to edit it right now. And this is where you'll be able to cut the video. You can do voiceover and you can add questions. Once you do all that, you can finish it. And maybe you want to create the title, um, Simon's Cat Suitcase. And you could do um, articulation S and Z. Because maybe this one is going to be really tailored towards your your S and Z students, because that suitcase, you want them to do some articulation carryover. You're going to do all this stuff of editing. We're, I'm not going to edit this one just to show you the process real quick. This is where you could assign it to your speech classroom that you have set up. Maybe we're going to do that later. Maybe we're going to edit it again. We're going to hit finish. We can duplicate it. And when you click duplicate, it just says to watch it. Okay. So whatever you have embedded in the video, it will play it through like the whole video. So I'm going to show you an example that I already have. And I believe it's under here. So this I made for Simon's Cat. Uh, it's a great, Simon's Cat on YouTube is really fun. It's free. It's like a wordless comic strip animated and I thought this would be great for prepositions so let's watch what I did so I put in questions over here that it automatically stops the video so that you have the child has to answer it so where is the cat well he's next to the box and then he has to submit the question and now I'm getting some data up here and so wherever this blob the next blob is that's when a prompts coming oh so I put in a note right here and I took a picture off of Pixabay you want to be really careful about what photos and clip art you're using because if it's if there's terms of use say not to put this in a public forum um, where people can grab it you would be violating a terms of use so only do things that are free um, and I just wanted to put in a note like the cat is stretching because I want to emphasize that verb here comes another one where is the cat the cat is out of the box the cat is in the box <clears throat> okay so we're done with that. So 
so I was watching the video that remember I went to my content. I went to Simon's videos. Nope, I didn't do that. I went and clicked this one and I went here to watch it. Okay. Now, if you go here to where your school is, you can find different videos that have already been made by other people that have, they've saved the content to their school. And here's where you can't necessarily edit it, but you can watch it. Now, if you go to your content, let's say we want to do something with this S and Z. Okay. We're, getting, we're in edit mode now. Okay, why didn't it let me cut? I'm trying to show you how to cut. Oh, there it is, okay. So I just clicked the cut button, I moved it up and now it cut out four seconds. So we're just right straight into the video. The kids won't hear any of that intro. So we could say, where is the man? How do you know? Because maybe we want our kids to look for context clues. There's a bed there's a doorway, we can guess that he's in the bedroom. So you added an open-ended question. And now this is what it will look like when it, when it gets to that point in the video. We could say another question. Why doesn't the man want the cat on his clothes or you know in his suitcase that's good enough for now okay so that's what that question will look like So here we might add a multiple choice question. What is the cat doing? He is jumping oops, in the suitcase. He is hiding under the blankets. Okay, so we're checking for understanding. So this would be a multiple choice question. Maybe I'm going to add a note here. You, I, okay. I wonder, oh, I guess you can do a voice. What do you think the man is going to feel and think when he comes back? The man doesn't know that the cat is playing in the suitcase right now. So what is he going to do when he gets back? Make a guess. Make a prediction. So here I gave a voice prompt. It's a note. So you can embed voice notes, you can embed a sentence note, you can embed a picture note, like maybe an example of a tier two vocabulary. You can put a picture in there and then hit continue. And so let's say we're done with this. You can go down here and assign it. You can edit it. You can duplicate it. You're done. So you can go back to your content and here's where it's going to be. 
And I'm really ticked because I figured out how to share a link with a with a colleague. So let's, and I can't remember how I did that, but let's say you have this done and your friend, your SLP buddy did this one. You both can now use two assignments because you split the work. So I would really recommend like breaking up the work and sharing the links. And if I get to figure they remembering how I did that, I will jump on here and do another tutorial on that. So this this is the basics that you can on how to do this. You can create your own folders in your uh, my content and I believe you can add it's under add content. Yep, you can create a video. You can upload a video or you can create a student project or a new folder. And so you can start to organize some of the videos and that way it's easier to get to them. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have questions in the comments and I will definitely be able to answer those or do a follow-up tutorial. I know sometimes it's easier just to see it in action than have to like figure it all out right now. So thanks so much. You know, remember SLPs, be the SLP that every kid wants to, st <laughs> I can't even say my tagline. Be the SLP that every kid wants to see. Uh, stay inspired. And during this time, do the best you can with what you have. And then you just got to let it go and really pray to prioritize what is important right now. That's, you know, don't, don't go crazy. Do just enough to get by. We're just supporting our students right now to not regress. We're going to all make amazing progress with our students when we get back to that real life therapy. So we're just doing enough to help them not fall so far behind. So just don't forget that.